In this video, I'm going to tell you how to deal with rejection as an artist. Welcome back to my channel. If we haven't met before, you'll find art tips and techniques, social media training, art business advice and motivational videos like this one on my channel. So please do consider subscribing. So I wanted to make this video because I see so many new artists getting really upset about being rejected, mostly because they have um, completely unrealistic expectations. Now, I want you to consider this. Not only is it possible that you will be rejected, not only is it probable that you will be rejected, but it is mathematically, statistically certain that at some point in your career, your artwork will be rejected. Now imagine if you were getting some electrical work done on your house and um, you wanted a variety of quotes for the work to be done and so you had four different electricians come to your house and chat to you about what needed doing and give you quotes and then there would be, you know, for everybody it's different isn't there, there might be a variety of reasons why you chose that particular electrician that you went with in the end, perhaps he was the cheapest, perhaps you just liked him the best or perhaps you thought he was the best quality any number of reasons why you might have chosen one electrician over the other three and the other three didn't hear from you again. Do you think that those three electricians who didn't get your work then went home and had an existential crisis about the fact that they didn't get your business? No, we know they didn't. So as an artist, why do you feel so differently? Why do you take it so personally? And the truth is that when we make art, we put a little bit of ourselves into it. So it's almost impossible when we're rejected not to feel like we personally are being rejected. But really, it's nothing to do with that. So I'm gonna tell you a few things that um, I've learned over the years, just quickly, so that hopefully you can view rejection in a whole new light going forwards. So there was a day when I was on Facebook and I was in one of these closed art groups, um, looking at posts by people who were chatting about art. And a lady came into the group and she put a post up and she said, please wish me good luck because I'm going to approach a gallery this afternoon and if they don't take my artwork, I'm going to be devastated. I'll probably never paint again. And um, I was forced to have a few firm words with her because that kind of attitude, it's just, um, it's, you know, from a mathematical, from a statistical point of view, it's just not reasonable to accept that everybody who sees your artwork will accept it straight away. And as an artist, I think you tend to look at it from the point of view of yourself and your artwork and how people are judging your artwork. So one of the ways you can cope with rejection is I want you to look at the other side. I want you to consider if you are not an artist, but you're a gallery owner. So let's think of an example. You know, maybe you have a gallery by the sea or well, perhaps only um, pictures of boats and beaches sell at your gallery. You know, perhaps people aren't interested in buying other things like abstract art or flower paintings, botanical. Perhaps they just don't want those things. So if somebody approaches you selling that type of artwork, it might be the best um, botanical painting in the world. But if you know that it's not going to sell in your area, and believe me, as someone who puts on art exhibitions, this is a real thing. You know, there is a, you know, a strong difference between areas and what people are willing to buy and willing to pay. You, know, you just wouldn't be able to accept that artwork even if it was really good. Um, let's also look at the idea of how many people might approach you as a gallery owner. Well, it wouldn't be uh, impossible to imagine that two or three people approach you in the course of a week with artwork, would it? Um, but how much room do you have? Maybe as a gallery owner, you've already got you know a selection of artists who are selling really well for you. So, you know, with uh, you know, illness or people leaving the gallery or whatever, you might have three or four spaces in the space of a year. So can you see where I'm going with this? You might have over 100 applications and only room for three or four people. Now, there are a multitude of reasons why a gallery might not be able to accept your artwork. And the quality of the own work, artwork is just one of those reasons. You know, there are so many reasons. So to expect that everybody will accept and welcome your artwork, you know, with the first time you apply to somewhere, it's not realistic. You have to accept that you will get rejections and even top artists get rejections. I have a successful career as an artist. I still get rejected from open exhibitions, from art fairs, you know, from online selling platforms because um, whoever it is doesn't think that my artwork is suitable for their particular um, place of business or for their particular show or for their particular website. It is just life. You really have to let it go and stop taking it personally and stop worrying about it. 
Now, as I mentioned, I sometimes run art exhibitions and I'm running two this year. And one of them is an exhibition I regularly run, which is in my local hometown. So I need 50 artists to take part in my art show and um, I'm desperate to get it filled. I really want to get it filled up because then I can move on to the promotion and stuff like that. But people are approaching me and I'm rejecting them um, quite often. So, you know, why is this? Why do, you know, I want people in the art show, but I sometimes have to reject them. And the simple truth is that I know that some of those people's work is just not suitable for this area. We live in a very um, conservative area where I am here in Suffolk in the UK. And um, I'm afraid the visitors to the art fair that I run, they want, uh, they want cottages and kittens. There's no point in me putting fully abstract work into the exhibition. I've been approached by some abstract artists and very nice their artwork is too. It's nothing to do with my personal feelings, but I know that the artwork won't sell. Now, if you sort of are, you know, if, if you're taken by an art, um, an art gallery or an art fair, and then your work doesn't sell anyway, you're not gonna feel any better and the chances are you're gonna have lost some money. So you have to accept that the people that are running these things know what's best and know the right artists you know, to be in the, uh, the art shows and the art exhibitions. It is not personal. I mean, and believe me, as someone running you know, an exhibition, I then get to see both sides because I get to see the side you know, as working as an artist myself where I've been rejected and then I get to see the, side, the other side as somebody running an exhibition where I have to reject people myself. And believe me, if you run an art exhibition, my goodness, you get some flack thrown at you. I have been accused of everything. I've been accused from being partisan, for giving stalls to friends. I've been accused of having a vendetta against people. I have been accused of being jealous of artists' artwork because mine isn't as good. Oh, God knows what I've been accused of. And it's all just absolute nonsense. It's ridiculous. You know, and this all happens because people's feelings are hurt and doesn't matter how well you, you know, you try to write back to them and you try to be kind and you try to give them constructive criticism or encouragement for the future. But it generally just gets thrown in your face and um, people just have a huge huffy fit and um, just get very upset. So I hope that having given you this insight into um, what it's like from the other side and given you the idea of thinking of it not only just from your own point of view as an artist but also from the point of view of the uh, the people that are running the exhibitions or the people that own the art galleries I want you to consider that it is statistically likely that you will be rejected more than accepted and it is absolutely fine it is not any judgment on your artwork. That's not to say that they may not reject you because they think your artwork is not good enough. But if you would just be humble and if you would just ask for some constructive feedback, then uh, more than likely they'll be very willing to help you. So I want to encourage you to keep applying to exhibitions, keep applying to art fairs, keep applying to websites, keep putting your artwork out there. If you're rejected, ask for feedback and do not take it personally because it happens to everybody, even the best artists in the land. I would also like you to subscribe to my channel and you can watch another video right now.